Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, and once again, I have another video that Character Creator 3.01 just got released. So, uh, one of the new features about it is the ability to pick up some textures from your avatars. That might sound familiar with some of you that have been using my routines, and that's exactly where that comes from. That's that kind of coding. Uh, and, and you might notice, you might say to yourself, well, good, then I don't have to use your program anymore. And you're absolutely right. Of course, you never had to use it in the first place. But yes, to get better textures, you could use my program. Uh, the, the difference is, and why you might want to still continue to use the program, uh, and uh, it, it's, it's just because of that 90% success rate. Uh, as you might notice, if we go over here, this is the thing about, uh, about it. And, it. and as it shows you, it says um, somewhere up here, da, 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 about a 90% success rate. It, it does the same thing that my program does. It looks for specific things. As a matter of fact, in, in my program, it actually looks for more than just these. I gave them the list, but they don't quite, they don't quite get all of these. But, but my program looks for at least these as well as some more. So my program actually has about a 95 to 98% success rate. This program, uh, they don't quite have the same success rate because they use a little bit of different search routines. So that's one reason you might still want to use mine if you're not getting all the routines. But the, the more important one is this. You don't know whether you got all the routines right. You know, you look here and you go, I got the base color. I didn't get any roughness, metallic, or bump, but maybe there aren't any roughness, metallic, or bump. Well, unless you actually look for those textures, which you can do, uh, you don't know that you that you have any. Well, on my routine, I'll bring this over here. Bring this over here, and we, if you guys remember this, how this works, we'll go ahead and, and import the FBX file exactly the same way. I'm going to turn off the rotation. We don't actually have to turn off anything else. So we go into the, where is it, uh, Man Hippo, and import him in there. So uh, you can try to find the folders for the textures, and it's not terribly difficult. You can search through, but it's a whole lot easier just to go we'll clear those out first, just to do this. And we write those folders, and then if we go to where, you're, um, where you've stored your images, you will notice if you go into these maps, there they all are. And now when we look at these, we can say, oh, you know what? We missed the bump maps. Uh, that's because these bump maps are named very oddly. Now, I, my new routine, I'm going to keep working on I am going to pick these up, and I'll tell you that. So we'll, so we'll be able to get, uh, and, I'll, and I do that all the time. I refine them. That's kind of why mine is more like 98 to 90, 95 to 98% better than theirs. Uh, I will keep working on it. So I'm going to pick these up. But now you know that these didn't get picked up. You can add these easily in. And remember, my routine already wrote the any file for you. So you go back here to that any file, and you bring it in here. And then you go ahead, and you can copy and paste those other textures in there. So you could know, you know, that this one needed to get uh, copied in there. So with a zero. So that's the, the head. You know that's the head because it matches zero, zero. Uh, again, my routine will, will do that. But it's, it's still a lot easier to go ahead and add those yourself if you've got your, um, all the maps there that you know that you need to add. So that's one reason you might still want to continue uh, running my routine. But again, I don't care either way if you, uh, if, if you don't. Uh, I'm going to continue running it. Let's put it that way, because I want to get the maximum amount of textures, and I want to get them all right in here. And I don't think they have it all right, and I know they don't have it as well as my routine works. So anyway, so that's that possibility. But I wanted to show you something completely different. For those of you guys, forget Character Creator 3 for a moment. I'm going to go back to uh, Exchange, because I started then focusing now on bringing my uh, environments and sets and props in. One thing you cannot do with the character creator, you can bring in some props, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to attach them to an avatar. So the other day, I wanted to do a, um, a, a destroyed mall from Daz, and we exported exactly the same way, do the same FBX export that you do for avatars, and then you, you load it into Daz, now, uh, into Exchange. Now, the problem, of course, with Exchange, and this is what we're going to face, that again, my routines are just stopgap measures until they fix these problems, but... Uh, the problem with Exchange is that because it's a 32-bit program, it oftentimes will get choked up. And it doesn't get choked up with face counts. I've imported faces, millions of faces in. But it will get right here. The texture sizes will be a problem. Problem most likely because a lot of the texture sizes from Daz are 4K. You don't really need 4K texture sizes. Uh, you, can, you can get by with far smaller texture sizes. But if you want to, you know, see, so you run out of memory, so you can't import it. There's other strategies you can do. You can split. See, there's not, there's actually not going to be a lot of faces in here when we finally get this imported. 
Uh, you can split it up. You can uh, go into your DAS content directory, and you could go ahead and um, uh, reduce the texture sizes on all those. So that's those are and then important again, but that's a problem because then you have lower textures in your DAS directory. So what I'm working on is in here, back to Blender now. We'll go back here for a second, and we'll go to a new file, and I'm going to load in that um, that mall again, wherever it is. Destroy them all. Turn off the rotation again. Uh, it takes a while to load it because it's a big it's a big problem. Now you might also remember that I have a button that once again we don't have in Character Creator. We don't have the ability to uh, reduce the textures. Uh, it, so my routine. So one of the things you could do is you can consolidate materials. Select that mall. You can consolidate them, and that kind of removes the duplicate materials. In this particular case, it doesn't help much. It helps a little bit, but it still won't load into Exchange because there's just not a lot of reuse for all those materials. But that is one thing you can try. You can do the consolidate material, export it as FBX, and then, and then that may or may not load in. The other thing we can do, however, which does work, um, is to uh, change the map settings so we can go replace all maps. So I'm going to clear the iClone folders again, and then I'm going to first, I'm going to write the iClone folders out. We have to write those folders out. I'm going to bring in the, uh, this thing again here, if I can go down to here and... Uh, 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 uh. It's writing out the maps into this uh, texture maps directory. It's not done yet because it hasn't come back here yet. It's a lot of maps here, a lot of lot of maps, and it's also doing something else because I have Pillow installed. Pillow, you might say, what the heck's Pillow? Uh, Pillow is a um, it's a Blender add-on. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to say library that will do th image manipulations. So one of the things I do with Pillow is I take all my maps that come in for uh, environments and I reduce them from 4K you can do down here. See, now it's, it's 1K. You can see that's 1K there. Here's a 2K image. If I, if I hit there, it's, it's 1K. I reduce everything to 1K because that's really all I need. Um, if you don't have Pillow installed, this won't work automatically for you. That, if you do, that will. But even if you don't have Pillow installed, you can still use this. And you have now a directory, this texture map directory. And then you could use Photoshop or a number of different routines and just lower all the textures in this directory. Then the last step you have to do is point, excuse me, point the file to using that directory. And that's what this last thing does. So if we go in here and somewhere in here, if I can expand this, ah, come on, a little trickier. Get to the corridor, for example, and we'll go to textures. I want to show you some corridor floor, just a simple texture here the image. So right now, here's where the DAS images are located in that. And you don't really want to muck around with those images. I want to leave those alone, but I want this to point now to those, those texture files. So let's go replace all maps. I click on this, and now here, now this is pointing to those texture maps. See that B texture map thing, which I have here, B texture map. So that's, so it just points to all that. And now if I go to export this file, and I have already done that, and then I go in to load it in, I called it mall here. Now this file, you can probably see the file size is a little smaller. Not much smaller. You might say, well, Mike, if it's not much smaller. Well, the, the, the file size doesn't contain the textures. FBX doesn't. We didn't embed those textures in there. So it's about the same size in terms of faces. But because the textures now are down to 1K from 4K, when this gets around, and it does take a while, it doesn't take too long, but it, it will load in it's uh, it's loading in those reduced textures and therefore it, it works fine now you could actually turn this around if you wanted to and once you were in uh, iClone if you really wanted to have those high level textures you could use my routine to load back in those textures uh, creating that file and we could we could show that if you really want to see that because iClone will handle those textures it'll it'll take the the 4k textures uh, and and hopefully someday Maybe even within my lifetime. I and I, I know I, I say that jokingly, but it really isn't jokingly. I'm I'm getting near the end of my lifetime, and so hopefully we'll see a 64-bit version of 3D Exchange. I I would I hope I'm living and breathing when that happens. But uh, until that time, you can use my routine and these and these uh, various procedures to get around it. It's gonna come in eventually. I promise you. Um, so. Uh, while it's while we're waiting for that to cook, let's see, is there any other questions I can... Oh, now my routine... Yes, now that 3.01 has been released, my routine should work correctly with everybody, including those of you using Blender Cycles or anything else. So, uh, again, 
the only reason I'm going to continue to use it is I don't want to miss any of those textures. I'm, I'm only going to import those avatars once and use them from, from Daz. So I don't want to take the chance that I'll be missing textures. And, and even if my routine doesn't pick up more than theirs does, at least I'll know it by looking at those files. So um, that's the one thing you won't know. You'll, you'll never really know if you're missing something or not um, unless you take the time and effort to, to go through and look for it. So I could cut out this portion. What else could I talk to you about? Oh, I'll, I'll talk to you one more thing. I'll tell you one more thing. Well, and it's coming up. And notice it comes up. So now, now it comes in. See, there's not really a whole lot of faces. And it comes in, and it has all the textures. And if I can... Uh, actually, you know what? I do want to show you one more thing. I'm going to show you one more thing while I bring up... Um, ex uh, I'm going to bring up iClone here. I'm going to go back to Blender for just a moment. If you're having a problem with any of my routines, if you click on this trace... It will write out a trace.txt file, and then you can send it to me. So that's uh, that's helpful if that ever happens again. But you know, like I say, hopefully, hopefully, maybe a lot of you won't be using this anymore. And uh, and if you are, then there's a way to to help uh, that particular routine. So now I'm going to show you one more thing when iClone finally comes up. Okay, good, it came up. So um, yeah, and now we're going to. Uh, I always just do this. I always just apply it to iClone instead of exporting it's just easier for me so now we're over in iClone I'm going to bring this over here get rid of the timeline uh, these dual monitors okay now I want to show you something here oh first of all the textures oddly enough we went through all that trouble to to get this imported and guess what the textures really still aren't here that's because again you still have to use my routine to load them in and I wanted to show you about that my routine uh you know, let me go back up to here my routine has to know the name of the object. So you're going to have to, uh, if we go to content, uh, so scene. So the scene is just called mall because that's how I exported it from, um, from Blender. So in, in the, the effort to, um, to get it working. So to go to this root here, the root, it's got to be called mall. So you have to rename this. It still has to be the root, but just mall is all it's going to be like that. And then one more place you have to rename it is in here, uh, the node. The the no inside the nodes you're fine here with that, but but the node and the root have to be called mall, uh, whatever it is in the scene. And you might say, well, can't you program around that, Mike? Well, I, I can to some degree. What you what I could have done is when I saved that Blender file, if I had saved it with that name, if that saved it with that whole name, then you wouldn't have had to rename it. But otherwise, you can just do that because because uh, Real Illusion here expects that name when we go in to load the textures. So we'll go in here and load all the object textures and we'll pick that um, uh, mall. There we go. And it loads all those in. But I wanted to show you a few more peculiarities about this because it is worthwhile seeing what, okay, so it loads in. You might say, wow, that looks so much better. And, and it does, but it's still missing some things. And this is just because I can't program around this. I, I don't, I'm going to try to work with Real Illusion. Hopefully, I don't talk to these guys and say, you know, what is going on here? Come on. It's still importing in here. Okay. Go to here. So I'm going to select this texture here, just this front. We'll scroll down and look at the strength here. The base color came in at 80%. So we want to bump that up. So notice that looks better. Um, you have to do that with all the diffuse colors. I don't know why that's doing that. I know this has been a perennial problem, but I thought it got fixed in 7.3. So I don't know if it broke in 7.4 or if I just uh, didn't see it. I didn't really have it, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to test 7.4. So I don't know, I don't know what happened here. We'll try to see if we can get that fixed. Uh, that's the only thing you'll have to do is go through all the diffuse textures in that. And then the other thing you have to do is under glass, which is really another weird one. And again, I'll put this in as a, as a trouble ticket. Here's, uh, I hit walls. Let me just try to see if I can get some glass here. Uh, uh, maybe that's glass. No, that's still walls. All right, let's, let's see if I can find some glass here. Got to be able to click on the glass. There, maybe we got glass there. Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, again, the base color needs to be bumped up, of course. But down here, the opacity for glass is all the way down. So if I turn it up, you'll actually, you can't really... I had a real better example of this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's do this one. Now I'll get this eventually. Hopefully, if you're bored, you already turned off. So there's glass again, and we and the diffuse is already bumped up all the way. But if we go down to here, 
See the opacity? If I turn it, the opacity came in at zero. So when we when we turned it up, it looks a lot better. So um, so that's something else you're going to have to work on. Uh, I think I think this is glass here too. Yeah, this is glass. So again, uh, bump up the strength and then opacity. See if I turn that up, so you can now see the. And that's weird because it already has an opacity map in it. So it really the opacity should actually be set at 100 percent because it's already got a map to control it. So. Again, I think these are errors that uh, that somehow crept in from 7.3 to 7.4, and we didn't get a chance to test. So anyway, uh, we'll, but but that that's for now. That'll help how you get your textures in and stuff in. And hopefully this hasn't been too boring, and maybe we'll talk to you soon.